like she was confused about like it was it was your hair. I think she said something about your hair. I think it's my voice. Actually, she she thought my voice my voice sounded masculine. Yeah, for how I looked. And so she was confused, and I think that kids just kids kids and adults that are closed minded or sheltered don't understand exactly what's going on. And they don't know how to react to something like that. So they're only going off of what they know or what their parents have told them. Mm-hmm. And I think that videos on transgender or gay or lesbian um, would help a lot. It's an interesting thing about a little girl, too, is, I mean, like, in this, with kids in general, is as soon as it was explained to her, she, like, immediately got it and was like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. and didn't, like, really argue with it. Whereas I feel like an adult mm-hmm. would probably be like, what, that doesn't make sense or something like yeah. that, like kind of argue with it. So I mean that is that's I mean the thing about kids is yeah they usually do I feel like they, they usually get it a lot more because it's like they don't have all these other like these things about gender fed into them and stuff as much. So yeah, yeah. for people who are adults that are not familiar with the subject um who act in a way of defensive and argumentative because they don't understand it's an out of their comfort zone something that they haven't been exposed to or choose not to be exposed to, to understand that just because they're transgender doesn't mean they're any less of a person. It is very hard because um, there's so many angles that we can ad- address this. For example, we all know that the binary thing is so predominant, even within the LGBT community, mm-hmm. that sometimes I feel like even gay guys don't get it. Transgenders, <laughs> crossdressers, um, and the so even they go by, oh, are you a top, bottom, which only means are you masculine or not? And so the community outside of the LGBT, the, like the in general public, um, I see guys having that issue too. Like I don't dress like this all the time, and sometimes I do go like, I we would say more male looking, mm-hmm. and it's weird because guys still feel weird around me, and so that's so. So I was listening to these cases, and it's so contradicting. It's like, well, I look like a guy, and even then they don't go by the look. I think. I wonder if they go by the feeling, or or maybe even out of all this, I still look feminine to them or something. So they're like, what are you doing here? And I start wondering, well, where should I go? Because I cannot go to the woman's unless I am dressed like this. And even like this, sometimes, like they say, they will find the challenge too. So it's very strange. Sometimes you don't know what to do. Like to add to that, I don't identify as a masculine male. And it makes it harder for me because I have to dress more masculine because I'm not on testosterone and I can't prove it any other way. I would much rather be dressed femininely, but still be male. Like, this is probably a little bit more of a, another, like, rare-ish case. But, like, lesbians, like, oogle over me. And I'm like, please don't, because my fiancé is a male. So, I have trans... <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, like, moved over to, like, being male, but I'm still in, like, the same relationship I was before. So, it's, it's just kind of like... Uh, it's really interesting. That's that's basically... That's very similar to my experiences. I feel the same way. I prefer to dress sort of andro... Like I said, I dress sort of androgynously and even sometimes kind of masculine. And I feel like I've gotten a lot of... Like, there's been a lot of weirdness, actually, even from within the trans community a little bit about that. I've kind of... I think a lot of other trans women kind of treat me like I'm a less legitimate or something because I don't dress very feminine. I don't really have, like, a strong desire to usually. I do occasionally, but it's, for me, it's kind of just, like, something I do for fun sometimes. It's not like I, I dress on a daily basis. Um, and, I mean, I, I get sort of the same thing, yeah, where I think a lot of people are very confused about me, and because of that, I think some people don't really know, like, how to read me sometimes. I'm not really, out in public, I usually apparently get read as female, and I'm not sure what people think I am exactly, for lack of a better word. I don't know if they think, if I think they think I'm trans, or if they think I'm just, like, a masculine cis woman who just dresses really kind of, like, queerly and weird. Androgynous. Yeah. It seems I mean, like so I, I, yeah, I just, I don't really know. It's, and it's the same thing, yeah, where it's kind of like, sometimes people are attracted to me who I'm not, like, I, know, I think sometimes, um... I, for some reason, it seems like, yeah, I get a lot of men who are attracted to me for that reason. I don't really know why. It just seems kind of strange. But And I have the same thing where, yeah, I'm actually not attracted to men. And they, I feel like since I've transitioned, I've got a lot of unwanted attention from men around me. It's kind of something I don't really know how to deal with very well. Because I don't have so you're attracted to female? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
It seems like it's like right. really looked down upon, like if you're not a masculine trans male, and if you're not a feminine trans male, that it's like, ooh, against code that you can't be a feminine trans male, or you can't be a masculine trans male. But it's like I said at the beginning, the transgender group is, is too big and sometimes people forget. Even the general public, they think transgender means that you got to be feminine mm -hmm. and that you are in hormones and you don't have to. Everybody is it's transgender, even drag queens too. They just don't know it because they all say, I talk to them and they say, well, I'm just doing it so I can entertain somebody. I'm like, you know what? Don't BS me because you like to dress as a woman and you like it while you're doing it. So don't <laughs> tell me that you're not feeling fulfilled that way. Wow. And they say, no. So even they also feed into the transgender group. But it's on, on, on the local one, um, I have experienced that too. I don't know if you've noticed too, but because I'm almost transgender and almost drag queen, and sometimes I feel pull and push back and forth from both groups. Like I don't, I finally don't feel completely accepted in any of them. And maybe that's other, some of the reasons why I don't join your groups all the time. I come eventually, sometimes, occasionally. Um, well, I think, yeah, the general public has a very specific idea of things. I think also of what transgender means. And I think that's probably yeah. part of the reason in public I'm a little bit, people are kind of confused about me because I don't think I look like what they expect a trans person or a transsexual or whatever it look like. So I don't think they really know what my deal is because I just don't really fit the sort of like paradigm in their head of what they expect trans people to look like. Especially not trans women, so I feel like I think that actually I think I think that's a common thing. Yeah, it's just like people have this very rigid idea, and then and you, they forget that there's it's this very wide ranging thing that isn't really. Well, it's because everyone has their own level of ignorance. Yeah. Under understanding something out of their comfort zone, something that they are unaware of, because no matter how open minded you are about different subjects, everyone. And including myself, I'm not just saying to talk, talk down to anybody because I'm not, is everyone has a level of ignorance because they don't understand fully because what I view as normal may not be to you, what is to you is not to me, but that doesn't make you any worse or any different than anybody else because what who you are is what you're meant to be and if it makes you happy... And there are other people that you can be around. That's great. So, it's just everyone has their own level of ignorance, in my opinion. Like yesterday, I actually passed my fiance's brother until I opened my mouth and spoke. And I didn't have, like, the super masculine voice. I had, like, a feminine voice. And they were like, oh, you're not actually a man. And I had to tell them, no, yes, I am. But my voice is just a little weird. Mm -hmm. I'm like... It, it throws them off because they go by based off of standard. They don't they don't think about it. They have their own opinion because of, of what features you may have and whatnot because of this is what's been ingrated into their brain and to what society is supposed to be. They don't understand that there's binary genders. There's different this, different that. If, any, if the general public had an idea... If you watch this movie called, I think it's called Two Spirits, Native American Culture, they actually had four different genders, masculine male, feminine male, masculine female, feminine female, and they actually had different names for them, and it was more accepted and it wasn't a big thing because the different spirits that person of different types uh, identified as. I thought it was really, really awesome. So, could you give me some input on that thing I was saying about how I don't feel accepted completely as a transgender and then as a drag queen? Remember one time I asked, how do you see me? And you said, well, I see you like a woman, that I said. And could you say something about that? Well, I mean, the, the time that I've gotten to know you, which has only been a couple of times, um, I see you as female, but... That could be my percep my ignorantly that's not even a word perception. Okay, said I'm more intelligent in my head. I promise. <laughs> Just improvise. Um, it doesn't have to be all four. Points. No, no, no. I yeah. I, but uh, my point is, is that my my perception of what we we mean you've talked, Claudia. Um, I see a lot more feminine qualities, and I probably 
shouldn't have assumed we should ask what you would prefer to be identified as, but I don't know you on a super per more personal level. So maybe the question should be, is there any criteria to be a transgender? No. Because there's different levels. There's people who are are transgender who either do hormones and don't do any surgery or... Um, because I have had some transgender looking at me and kind of rejecting me because they feel like you're a drag queen, you're not a transgender. And then I go to the drag queens and they say, well, you're not a drag queen, you look more transgender. So I, I say it's like more of like how you personally feel and how you personally identify as. Like, it's, it's how it should matter is like how you feel. But the thing is, it's not that way because other people just like have to speak to you and like ignoring like your... Lost it. It's gone. <laughs> or maybe yeah, it's like it your because pronouns they like refuse to call you by that. Maybe it's because actually our community is really broad, even more than sometimes we even know. And well, so it's so hard for us to really have a perception and say, Yeah, you're this, you're that. It's more broad than we even think. Well it's kind of interesting because a lot of my friends, um like a, a pretty large portion of my friends identify as genderqueer. And kind of like what Karina said, I mean, the, even for them, it's like that means a lot of different things. Because, I mean, some of them dress in sort, of, sort of like in differently gendered clothes, some of them don't. It just kind of varies. Some of them have dysphoria over their bodies, some of them don't. It's kind of just a very wide-ranging, very kind of blurry line thing. And, I mean, I don't know, sometimes it's kind of interesting because I'll talk to them, and I'll talk about them as though they're part of the trans community, and sometimes they'll be like, wait, I'm not trans. I'm like, well, you've said, you've said you're doing a you've said you kind of... And I explain, like, what trans means in the broader sense, and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be on hormones or anything. And a lot of them are like, oh, okay, I guess I am trans. I never thought of it that way. So it is kind of interesting, yeah, how... I think how broad it is and how many people it really does include. Because, yeah, like I said, I think a significant portion of my friends would fall under the, you know, the transgender umbrella or whatever you want to call it even though they don't take hormones like I do, or they don't have any desire for surgery, or really they don't even care about their, you know, what pronouns are used for them sometimes. So. Not to speak for him because he's not here, but my fiancé kind of is, like, genderqueer. Like, like since I've, like, come out with this, and, like, I've started talking and explaining things, he kind of feels more like a they. He doesn't like being masculine, but he feels like he has to pull that off in public, and, he, like, he doesn't have, like, the confidence... To go out and dress in like more feminine clothes or such. It's probably because the way society looks at everybody, and it's how other gender gender um, queers or other trans or lesbians or gays look at them. I believe that everybody should stop judging each other, especially since we're all in the same LGBT community, and we need more support than anything. Right. We don't need other people who are just like us or going through something like us to be sitting there and being judged by somebody who is who knows how it is. Mm -hmm. Like, he had one, like, really dysphoric night where, like, he didn't feel male at all. And it's, like, I think it's only happened, like, two occasions. Like, he didn't feel, like, any connection. And, like, it was, like, he kind of got, like, a better understanding of, like, how I feel. Like, when I'm upset, it's kind of, like, how you felt that one night is, like, how I live, like, every day and, like, how... I have to like go through things like this is just, it makes like like changing while you're in a relationship like difficult and like all right it's kind of like it really is especially once you start testosterone and stuff because of your mood swings and everything yeah yep I think we cut a good amount of information being disclosed so we're gonna leave it up to that thank you all for participating and perhaps we'll have another study. Sounds good. Focus awesome. the study. <laughs> All right. Good job, you guys. Jeez. Take two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. None of that got recorded. Ah. <laughs> No, oh, I'm just saying. I, I'm like, wait, I saw the recording. I was like, wait a second. No, I'm just saying. After I will say, I'm just going to come out like, oh, well, I guess we didn't get it. <laughs>